Today's episode was made possible through the continuing support of the great and wonderful Dax Bourbon. Thank you, sir. Wow, that's bright! Hi there, guys, and welcome back to the plant. We're here today at Site 3, where I am inside the generator. This is the stator. This is where the, the electricity that we generate, the energy we make, actually comes from. This is the part. And the way it all works is the big spinny part, the rotor, isn't where the electricity comes from. In fact, we put electricity into that. We put about 120 volts, uh, 50 amps into that, and that turns a million parts inside it into a whole bunch of individual electromagnets. And as those electromagnets swing by, right here, they're, they're, they're just barely not touching this, and they're flying by at about, uh, it spins at about a little over 200 RPM. And what that's doing, as we've learned with a million other fun demonstrations like um, kicker and tosser and all that jazz, if you move a magnet, and that's what the spinning part is, it's a big collection of electromagnets. If you move a magnet around or next to a, a coil of wire or just a piece of wire, you generate an electrical flow in that wire, an electrical current. And each one of these is an individual winding. Every single one of these, all these little humps you see are a winding and it comes up here and it goes, this is the apex. And then the backside goes back that way and it comes down way back there and then it curves back and then it comes up. So these are really weird shapes. And I'll see if I can get one of these that I can show you just an individual single winding, but they're huge. And what happened here on, on this particular generator is years ago, generations ago, somebody screwed up when they put it together. And as a result of that, it had a monumental oil leak. And that oil went down into the rotor and was flung out into the stator. The rotor is the part that moves. The stator is stationary. It stays right there. Okay, that's what we call stator, state air. So this caught all of the oil that was flung out. Well, on top of all that oil, years and years and years and years and years of carbon dust and just general schmood. There are more dead bugs in here than you want to know about. Just flung into this because a huge amount of air is pushed through this because it's, it's like a Tesla turbine. It's a big spinny thing flinging stuff off, right? So it's flinging air and bugs and grease and oil and just crap and corruption from hell to breakfast and it's all the damn thing. So we've been spending days, days with uh, little, little scrapey, picky, spudgy tools. This is, this is the best tool. If you have to clean your stator, this is the best tool that we've found. And combine that with Mr. Clean. My original thought was to go at it with Simple Green. I don't trust it with the coating. Mr. Clean is the choice for all of our power plants. Like next time I got to do this, which I hope is never, but the next time I have to do this, it's the things to remember is Mr. Clean, We've tried all three flavors, and the cheap little Amazon spudgy tools are amazing. These are because it's perfect size. You got the narrow end for in between, and you got the fat end, which is exactly the right size for the the little metal block things. So this is this is where it's at. Now the reason that we had to clean this all out is all of that carbon dust, all of that grease and schmoo and it's conductive. Not like super duper conductive, it's nowhere near as good as like the copper windings, but it's conductive enough in the worst ways and insulative enough in the worst ways. Because what it does is first it clogs everything. Well, that doesn't let air go through, so that traps heat. But it's worse than that. Because it's conductive, as we're flinging these magnetic fields by, it's absorbing some of that magnetic field and turning that into very tiny amounts, really tiny amounts, but measurable amounts of electricity. 
but that electricity doesn't connect up here to these wires that go out over there off to the grid and all that. It just stays right there in its little thing. And when it does that, it just flows around and around and around and eventually, like everything else in the universe, thank you second law of thermodynamics, it ends up as heat. So, it's two sides. On one side, we're wasting energy and just turning it into heat. That's money we're not making. And on the other side, it's blocking all this in and preventing the airflow, which makes even more heat. So it's just baking this shit in here for years. And it is not pleasant nor easy to remove. Like, we literally had to take the whole generator apart. And this is just an afterthought. This was just because I was like, you guys aren't going to just put that back together again. They're like, oh, it's fine. It's been that way for generations. I'm like, you know it's costing you money, right? And they're like, all right, fix it. They didn't care that it was filthy. They didn't care that it was ugly, that it stank, that it looked bad. But when you explain to the boss, this is costing you money. Well, then you get to spend a week in here breaking your bony little ass on a hard metal plate, because this is not comfortable to sit on. Just scraping shit off the inside of the generator. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is the glorious, glamorous life I'm leading. Okay, next time you think it's amazing being me, I've just spent the week cleaning shit off the inside of a generator. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a look inside at the stator. And just a quick shot of the cleaning process. I'll get you some time lapse. It's fun. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And as always, I'll see you next time.